This is the exhibition of Matthew Angelo Harrison, who is a sculptor based and born and raised in Detroit. Uh, his work takes a lot of different subjects and directions and weaves them together. Uh, but some of the themes that and objects that animate this body of work are both African sculptures and ephemera from Detroit's auto industry. I'm really attached to, you know, the history of Detroit, you know, especially when it comes to arts. Working at Ford definitely influenced the process of my work, like the idea of perfectionism, fetish finish in the car automotive industry, and also the concept of prototypical possibilities. One of the things that's really impressed me is that he produces all of his work in his studio and that he builds his own CNC machines that are carving into the resin blocks. It's a milling machine, so, you know, I'm a machinist too. You know, I know how to make parts out of steel, metal. And that comes into play also, like knowing how to manipulate the techniques in milling to create new aesthetics and new visual representation, like expression. So he sometimes is scanning um, other sculptures that he has and using those 3D scans to create images that are then transposed into the resin, either carved into it to in a negative space um, or creating a positive image. What typically is the case is when he's using ephemera from the auto industry, uh, like the uh, UAW strike posters, the protective gloves, the helmets, or even the headlights, what he carves into those objects are scans and images derived from African sculptures and vice versa when he's carving into encapsulations of spears or totems or masks. Uh, what you're seeing are patterns that are derived from the auto industry. A lot of the objects um, in the show are actually my mother's like memorabilia or family members or yeah, friends with my mother, co-workers from, um, you know, who worked at uh, a plant that she used to work at. For example, these like UAW signs are, like my mother collected those for me during the GM strike, the last big UAW strike in Michigan at least. To be able to work with, you know, objects from, or like that represent Africa, I had to put myself in the work too. Because if I, you know, as far as like my own artifact um, has to be on an equal footing. Otherwise I'm like, I'm not elevating anything. I think it's helpful for people to like see things through the artist's eyes. Personally, where I'm finding like meaning and like my identity is the connection between the lineage of like slavery and how that has kind of gone along timeline, become labor unions and stuff, and like automation. <laughs> Robotic means forced labor. It just means machine to most people. It doesn't really mean, any, it has nothing, no conversation about labor surrounding it, which is the very problem, like such a huge problem because people are designing to that spec, you know, and putting things in our world to that effect, you know, without thinking about the consequences of it and like what it implies about our histories, like internalized like pains. I want to bring awareness to the problems we face as a society with automation and robotics and, um, the amalgamation of cultures and like the byproducts of all those things. And the consequences, you know, the consequences of platforming. But I think that like our intentions reflect how the AI is used and like how it develops also. So like our nature is reflect, it's a mirror.